<laughs> hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with the amazing Jimmy Fortune, and I love your name. Can I just well, start with your you. name? I need to pay you for that. I mean, really? really? <laughs> Man, that was like the yeah. easiest. You thing. know, I, I sang at a talent contest when I was really, really little, mm -hmm. my first time at, in, a, in a school, at the elementary school, and it was this guy there that was on was with the radio station. He came up after I had sang, and mm -hmm. he said, uh, now what's your name? I said, Jimmy Fortune. He said... Oh my gosh, what a name. He said, son, you're right. going to go places. <laughs> right? You were right, sir, wherever you are today. You were right. Absolutely. But I mean, how many people can say that they have the experience that you've had, number one? Your introduction with the Statler brothers, did you expect that at all? I mean, someone had a health issue, which I, I wanted to talk to you about because I myself suffer from, from colitis and Crohn's. Oh, really? Crohn's? You yes. Crohn's? And, oh and yes. So... For me, when I read that, I was like, "Yeah, wow. Lou you DeWitt, know. Lou DeWitt over the Statter mm -hmm. Brothers. He was there for like 18, 20 years before me, right. and uh, he suffered from Crohn's. And he had actually gotten some bad uh, surgery. Uh, he was on the road, mm -hmm. and he, he was out in like uh, Kansas somewhere, right. and he, just know, he didn't really know what was wrong, but he just right. had really just had this bad experience. And then took him into a hospital, and they operated and should not have. Oh, because wow. that's not the way, as you know, right. you probably mm -hmm. found that out. Yeah. And uh, it started the, the thing, it was, it was him having problems right. over and over again. 1982, right. uh, he was going to be out for surgery for about six months. He heard me singing at a local ski resort in Virginia. And I just, I'd met him at Thanksgiving 1981 right. wow. at, a, at a jam session. And so when he was going to have to be out, the, mm -hmm. the guy said, well, who do you know that could fill in for you? And, he, and my name was the first name out of his mouth. After all those years, and I had just met him. That's crazy. So what? you never know what you know right. what somebody's going to do. But I was playing clubs six nights a week, mm -hmm. uh, four hours a night, and I was I had two daytime jobs to support my music habit, and I was doing cover music. I was doing all kinds of different things, and so you know my background was in so many different things. But I knew of the Statler Brothers. I mean, they were right. like my heroes. I, I loved them, and I knew their songs from hearing them on the radio and everything. Right. But uh, so I knew in my heart I could do that job. Right. And a uh, matter of fact, I'm writing a book right now, um, in the process of writing a book. And that's got its own whole chapter because it's so right. much involved in how it took right. place. And it's such an wow. interesting story that uh, I got to write, uh, I got to write a book about it. So. I, absolutely. You know, I tried writing a book once and it didn't go very well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I started it um, like 10 years ago. Well, you can no, always finish it. I you know, can go back and I it. know I, I could, but every, every time I go through a situation, I'm like, that could be a chapter. That could be a title or, you yeah, know, something, yeah, but yeah. how awesome that you're, that you're able to incorporate that and you're, you know, I mean, the experience of that and going through that mm -hmm. and then what that must have felt like for you to know that you were the first person that he thought of. And yeah, it was, I mean, how, what an honor. For, at first, it was temporary. You know, I was yeah. there for, for six months mm -hmm. and uh, and he came back for a couple of weeks and he mm -hmm. just came to me and said, I don't think I can do this anymore. Wow. And he asked wow. me, he said, would you would you mind? being a full-time member of the Statler Brothers, and I said, well, you know what, I'd be an idiot to turn it down. <laughs> right, so right. I, I just, uh, it became uh, a member then, and so it led right. to 21 years. That's what of, I was gonna say, 21 of, years, wow. Of, with them, and I never, actually never had, I didn't know what to expect, really. I was mm -hmm. green, I was pretty green, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I never had written a song. Uh, the only thing I did was came in, I learned my part to sing right. tenor, and I asked right. him, if, I said, if I write a song, would you guys record it? And they gave me the most inner, most honest answer anyone could give me. And he said, yeah, if it's good enough. Right, so, absolutely. And then the first song I took him was Elizabeth. Wow. And I read and it was, and it was a number one song on the first album. Uh, and song They're like, heck yeah, we'll take yeah. your songs, keep them coming. <laughs> and That's so great. that was a, a lot of God things, you know, mm -hmm. that you know you hear about God things. But I, I can truly say there, I'm that so glad you said there's that. so many right. God right. things. And you, this is a God thing being here tonight. I mean, I, for this, ab for this absolutely. Stuff. absolutely. And for, for those of you who may not know yet, um, we're here <laughs> at Third and Lindsley. We're backstage and we're here for the Hank Cochran uh, Pen Fund, which is the benefit for pancreatic cancer. Um, and it's so great that all of you guys just have come to support yeah. this, this amazing cause cause you know I have so many friends that are that have cancer right I mean I mean mm -hmm. it's just everywhere I turn um, and I've, I've lost right. some recently and um, I, I'm just you know you sometimes like I see you feel like you're mm -hmm. just literally throwing rocks in the ocean you know absolutely at, at things but I'm just hoping that one day somehow some way yes definitely if we could find a cure you know for cancer and uh, definitely and not just that 
one is one is cured, but that all of them are Ab cured. Absolutely, and, absolutely. Um, and what a it's no no one more appropriate to, for this to be named after than Hank Cochran, right? And one of right. the greatest songwriters of all time. I, absolutely, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, gosh, he wrote for so many people, and yeah. I mean, so many artists recorded his songs, and mm -hmm. I just, it's incredible, it's yeah. incredible. But you yourself, I want to talk about a little bit more about your um, projects because mm -hmm. you've written, you you said God moments or yeah. God things. I mm -hmm. call them God moments. And mm -hmm. I, I love that you brought that up, but you've also done some gospel music, mm -hmm. some some hymn CDs, and stuff. Yeah, so I, I wanted to hear uh, more about that. Uh, just recently, uh, well, it was a little over a year ago. I released uh, a, uh, a CD called Hits and Hymns, right. which has some of my songs that I've written, like Elizabeth and Too mm -hmm. Much on My Heart and More Than a Name on a Wall. Right. Um, they're on there, and then I have some of my favorite hymns, which right. like uh, How Great Thou Art, Amazing Grace, Victory right. in Jesus, uh, Life's Railway to Heaven. Uh, precious memories, uh, just to, just to name a few of them. But uh, there's some great artists that are mm -hmm. on there with me as well. Like uh, uh, Vince Gill is is with me on uh, singing with me on. Vince, I, you on, keep showing up at every interview <laughs> on everybody I talk to. Everybody's stuff. Well, he, he's great. Vince Gill. Everybody that knows me knows Vince Gill is like my favorite male voice right. you know, in yeah, the world. He, and, because uh, he's just, yeah, he melts and, uh, everybody. And, and not only that, but he's just a good guy yes. and just uh, uh, such a talent. And, Absolutely. Uh, but, Perfect uh, fit him, for your For him album to, to sing that Amazing Grace with mm -hmm. me, him and Sonia Isaacs, actually, oh, okay. we're, we're on there. And uh, so the Oak Ridge Boys are on there with me, uh, Daly and Vincent, wow. Ricky Skaggs, the Whites, uh, awesome. the Isaacs, and um, the Gaither Vocal Band. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. And so it's just a lot of different people. And... They made it so special, you right, know, and I, right. I, I still have to pinch myself just <laughs> to say, you know, did that really happen? But the Absolutely. but the CD has done very well. It's 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 been in uh, in all the major markets mm -hmm. and it's in Cracker Barrel and um, that good and old I, Cracker my, Barrel. They yeah, have the best yeah. music there. I love yeah, it. Yeah, one of, one of my uh, my kids said, "Dad, you really made it now. You're in Cracker, <laughs> You're in Cracker Barrel. Barrel. That's awesome." <laughs> okay. <laughs> And my little granddaughter, she said, that's my favorite place. That's what I want, where I right. want to go to eat, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> well, it, you know, they lure you in. You have yeah. to wait in the store before I wish I you, thought right? of that. I wish I thought of that store. To see, come, you go in, right. you're in all the stuff. And right. you go out, you're in all the stuff. <laughs> Every time I go there, I'm like, ooh, babe, I want this. Ooh, I like this. Oh, we can make that. You know? I can't get out without spending 100 bucks. Right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's great stuff. But, but uh, yeah, and then I'm doing a new project. It's called Jimmy Fortune Sings the classics and nice. it'll have it's a matter of fact to make the world go away i just recorded that which was Very one of the first songs i remember hearing on the radio um eddie arnold they had the hit on it and um i recorded that i i, I put songs on there that kind of made a difference in my life and that was one of them and uh and there are artists like john denver that had a lot mm -hmm. to do with me and, and the beatles even i have some beatles wow. on there i have the eagles and and uh David Gates and Bread. I don't know if you remember that group or not. You're probably too young to remember them. But anyway, <laughs> I'll Google but it. Anyway, um, and then to kind of pay tribute to uh, you know, Glenn Campbell, mm -hmm. with Southern Nights. I, I have that on there as well. But uh, it's coming out in the spring. So be very, on, be very on the good. So for that. something for you guys to yeah. look forward to. Mm -hmm. But for now, you got to get the hits and hymns because right. you know there. that it sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And is that on Amazon? You said it's on all the yeah, major formats. It is. Okay, so we're gonna put a link up for that album. Yeah. We're gonna put that link up for you guys so that you have you have to get it. I'm telling you, <laughs> you need to get it. And then you need to gift it to somebody else because they need to be blessed by all of that. Yeah. It, it's just great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be yes, here tonight and. and I mean, your presence here for everybody, it's very meaningful to everyone that's here. Um, and and we, we really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us I'm back here. I'm very honored here, to so. do it. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you so much. Until next time, guys, stay tuned.